Uh, hello everybody, Anthony is here. In this video, I'll talk about some bits that didn't get into the full vehicle tutorial that I published a week ago. This is one of the tire designs I've done, and I've done a lot of them, maybe 50, 60. I recorded like seven, eight, and only had, in the end, only had two videos in the tutorial itself, just because I didn't need that many. I think there are a few useful, interesting techniques that are used here, like Vox uh, Layer, Vox um, Extrudes, uh, Vox Hide, and then just duplicating these instances in to get some tire threads and shapes. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so we are jumping straight into the process. I have about maybe 32 radial symmetry points, and I'm using the Vox Layer, you can see on my left, uh, in the left panel, and I'm starting to draw it and I you know, already get in some patterns just using a rectangular selection and doing, trying to make these bits uh, fairly the same and just uh, filling this up and then uh, doing all the subtra subtraction and uh, addition operations. It works uh, fairly fast. I do have like back faces off, so I don't go through the whole mesh and I'm only operating on the top. So you can see here, I reduced the count or radial symmetry count down from 32 to 24. And really, really, it's mostly like using the camera angle to find that um, spot to draw the line. Uh, on my second screen, I have a whole bunch of uh, car patterns, car tire treads. I would look for like a Ford 350, or just to buy the Bridgestone brand or Goodyear brand to see what's uh, used in the real world. So, like this pattern is not that bad. And since it gives us so much freedom, I've done so many. So many variations. Just uh, I think this the tire, the, the wheels, the, the hardest part of the whole vehicle. And um, I, I've done I don't know, 50, 60 uh, variations. So, like, the, the stuff was just endless. So I was trying to get something bit sci-fi-ish but not overly so i've also done some sci-fi patterns and i just they looked a bit out of out of this planet i mean out of this time period i um, was aiming at a technology level so i was going for something a bit more realistic so you can see my settings for the box layer on the, on the left so layer offset is minus one and thickness is 1.8 so i have and it's created as a surface, so by default it might be created as a voxel. You really want to create it as a surface because if it's created as a voxel, uh, it essentially will, will take it too much time to to generate generate one. You see here, I decided to redo the pattern, so it essentially just undid everything and started to redraw. So the quality of your pattern and drawing is dependable on the resolution of your mesh. So here you can see it's not that super high quality. But then again, if you go too high, uh, it will get a bit slow. But eventually, it went higher. So this wheel is at 1.3 million triangles. So I went up to 3 million for the wheel, for the tire. So one thing I wanted to do was to introduce a asymmetry on this particular tire design. So a bit later, I will turn on the symmetry. I turned off the symmetry here, and now I decided to introduce the asymmetrical pattern. And by the way, my final design was symmetrical. I just decided that it uh, takes too much time to create a symmetrical design uh, for what it was. Uh, but you know, you can do it. It's no 
problem. And with radial symmetry inside, it's pretty cool. It's pretty easy. So I decided to remove the right part to just hide it completely. And here I'll just do a clone along the symmetry. And rotate it a little bit. I decided that it was an easier way to do to create a symmetrical design than actually trying to draw it. Then turn it to the voxels so I can easier cut the mesh uh, so it's no longer like intersecting. You can see like a little bit of a cut. And you can see I actually instanced uh, the right part is actually been instanced and then rotated. So I get a perfect control. I don't have to do a double job over it. I tried to do the um, like the move tool, the posing tool, but I, th I think like my back faces, uh, back face color was off, so I only picked up the top of the faces, and I need to pick it through, and it's kind of I'm kind of struggling with that, keeps keeps breaking down. So then I just decided to use the move tool and see what that can do. Again, struggling with the pose tool right here. Kind of wasn't working out. And I wasn't sure why. So extra modifications is in the box height. So yeah, I was never sure how intricate I wanted to go. And yeah, it turned out to be black, so it's a bit more understandable what's going on. In this case, I'm using the walk extrude, so I want just to imprint a pattern using the options you can see in the top left. Just drawing some simple shapes. And then I didn't like that shape, and I decided to redraw everything. I'll try to redraw some of it. It's something I've done a lot. All right, so just press Enter. It turns out of the surface, in, in the voxels into the surface. And... Then I decided that I don't like it. And went for kind of bigger holes right there using the box height from different angles of the camera. And that's it. That's, uh, those were my experimentations of these different techniques inside uh, 3D code. 
hope maybe you found something useful in this video and there's a 50 percent discount for the last couple of days it's active on the whole car tutorial uh, check it out if you want to find out how to do the whole vehicle and see you in the next video